finally, let's look at pricing parameter. Avatar has a very uh, interesting pricing, a uh, very helpful pricing, really. Uh, so really, they 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 price it a very simplified way. They have a free plan that gives you access to really the bulk of what you need, especially if you're starting out, if you're a smaller company or your or your analytics needs are still quite basic. And then they give you other plans like a growth plan and an enterprise plan, right? So the free plan uh, will have the core analytics, and this is typically what be things like segmentation, uh, funnels. Uh, retention analysis, you should look up uh, all the really core reports that companies should really master first. This will all be available here. You know, unlimited data retention, user seats, and then they give you up to 10 million actions or events per month and uh, unlimited user profiles. Uh, so this is, as a free plan, it's, it's, it's quite good. It's quite, com it's quite comprehensive. And for a new company who just started out, this can be a great way to get started. And then you, you slowly build your analytics expertise, right? Now, a lot of the other reports, and really some of the reports that people really love or people are, are really interested by, are typically behind the paywall, right? So some of the things we saw, you know, in this course, uh, like clusters, uh, personas, compass, uh, some of the more advanced machine learning reports, those are all be available under under growth and enterprise plans, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, a lot of those reports require a lot of data to work initially. And I, I seen it firsthand where some of the company will sign up and say, hey, I really want this uh, machine learning report, which will help me answer this question. And they're not a small company and they you know they have no data, but they might only have, I don't know, uh, let's say a, a thousand, you know, hundreds of users uh, becoming paid subscribers on a monthly basis, which depends how you see it, right? It, it, it's, it's not nothing, but it's also not millions. And they'll try to get some one of these machine learning reports to work uh, in other tools, and it just won't give them the answers they're looking for because the, the volume of data they have is not enough. So really, putting you know putting all those machine learning reports behind paywalls, uh, it's it's a good way for them to protect uh, you know the usefulness of those reports because uh, given those you know trying to run those reports on very little data it doesn't really do them justice, right? In all our examples, you know all the sample data that we were using, we were talking about millions and millions of events, which is what makes all those reports uh, work really well and, and, and give you a lot of useful insights. Uh, so this is what, what, you, what you can think about when you look at the other reports, you know, behavioral predictive reports, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the enterprise level, you see things that typically you expect, SLAs, better data governance, uh, custom user permissions, uh, you'll get different custom success and so on, right? Uh, integrations will be available uh, typically uh, at all the levels. So all the different integrations you might see before, you know, we talked about segment before, uh, some of the mobile attribution tools and so on, those will be there, right? Uh, if we quickly just go through here, um, you know, dashboard availability, which is quite helpful, will, will be there. Uh, you might have some things that are not available, but you will have the dashboards, right? Uh, it's just some of the things that, that will not be available. Uh, single sign-on, same thing. That's something that's typically more enterprise uh, relevant. And in terms of customer success, uh, you, of course, get uh, self-service tutorials, kind of like this one. Um, but then, you know, at the higher levels, you get different uh, people uh, appointed to your account. Again, very typical of enterprise. The other thing also to keep in mind is that they have add-ons, which we covered. And the add-ons will also typically will be added to, to an account. Uh, Sometimes they're only available at, at the enterprise plan or, or maybe the growth plan, but this is a, will be a conversation we need to have with a sales rep and to, to get a different add-ons. Uh, most of the add-ons, same thing, they typically make sense when you have more data, right? Uh, you know, the ability to set different sampling and the scale add-on doesn't really matter to you unless you're at the you know, millions of events. Uh, insights, portfolio, all the separate things. A lot of these add-ons were really built uh, for high growth uh, products and companies. Taxonomy might be one exception that could actually be very helpful to almost every company, but uh, being an add-on and providing quite advanced functionality is probably still better suited for high growth products. Uh, nonetheless, the, you know, the, the free option to get started is very appealing for most companies, especially you know, when you're just starting out, and you do get a lot of room to grow into. That is, uh, you get you get a chance to really earn some of the more advanced reports that, that we saw in this course uh, as you as you as your product and your company grows.